So, I'm very happy to uh, turn this over to Brad. Brad Neinstead is one of our service uh, representatives, and he's going to tell you all about our brand new card. Brad? Okay. Thanks, Luke. Again, I want to say thank you to you guys making the trek out uh, here this morning to help us in our open house for our green card today. Obviously, that's why you're here. That's what we're going to focus on. But we're going to take a step back first, and I'm sure most of you noticed the little green cart right inside the door. Okay, John's first green cart built in the 70s, okay, with just an idea of making harvest more efficient. Okay, farmer had the idea, he brought two tires, probably those two tires that are still on the cart. Probably not, but close, okay? So he brought those two big tires and said, I need a cart to harvest in muddy conditions, increase my harvest capacity. Here's two tires, the rest is up to you. Okay, it needs to be 400 bushels. It needs to unload in four minutes. So, true Kinzenbaugh fashion, he took that and built that grain cart. Okay, so sticking with our company core values of innovation, it didn't just hold 400 bushels, it held 435 bushels. And it unloaded under four minutes, he made it unload in three minutes. Okay, so always exceeding the expectation of the farmer to increase harvest efficiency. Innovation in the marketplace, Kinsey grain carts. We come from our 435 bushel to our new dual auger, corner auger series carts that you see behind us today. Okay, available in many different sizes, 900, 1100, 1300, and 1500 bushel sizes. And what sets apart this grain cart from previous versions of carts? Obviously, it is a corner auger cart. Why a corner auger? What's the benefit? Visibility, okay? It's easier to see from the tractor seat loading into the semi, okay? A lot of corner auger carts out in the marketplace, okay? If you have a single corner auger cart, What's the disadvantages of just having one auger? You're relying on Mother Nature to bring that corn into that vertical auger, aren't you? Okay, so with the dual auger, corner auger cart, we still have our, our benefit of increased visibility from the tractor seat, but with our dual auger, horizontal auger, we're of course force feeding that vertical auger and getting a measured unload rate of 750 bushels a minute, okay? Just slightly faster than the old one, okay? Just slightly, okay? So 750 bushels a minute of unload capacity. Not only does our dual auger get us that unload capacity, helps keep our low profile that Kinsey's been known for over the last several versions of carts, okay? Many of you probably read that sign that talked about that old cart. This year marks 40 years of building Kinsey grain carts. Okay, so as we go to the evolution, we get to our dual auger, corner auger cart, okay? We still have our dual auger design. We get the benefits of the corner auger with our visibility, but just like back in that 1970s, that's not good enough. We gotta take it one step farther, okay? So with our corner auger design, we physically move that auger outside the box. As John commonly coins, I'm thinking outside the box. We've moved the vertical auger outside. We've given it the ability to pivot 10 degrees, which gives us a two foot reach and two foot of height change just with that auger pivot, okay? So <clears throat> dual auger design gives us our fast unload speed. Our corner auger gives us our good visibility. But then again, we get to the point where we have that adjustability to fine tune when we're pulling up to the semi. Okay, who has ever not pulled up to the semi correctly? I bet everybody's hands gotta go up, otherwise you're lying, okay? Because <clears throat> it's always happened to somebody. You might have done it 50, 60 times in that season, but there's always that one time, and usually it's the end of the night, end of the day, the rain's coming, we're trying to get a field finished up, et cetera, having that flexibility to correct a mistake, if you will, or misgauge it, or I didn't have enough Mountain Dew during the day to keep me awake at midnight, 
have that flexibility with that pivoting auger. Okay? So, we look at our functionality of the system. And <clears throat> standard equipment on it is a five hydraulic remote system. Okay, so it takes five remotes to run the cart. Okay, you got your auger fold, you have your belt engage for your horizontal auger, and on the 100 series or this new series of corner auger carts, you have a standard equipment hydraulic flow gate. A lot of guys say, well, why do we have a flow gate in this version and not on the 1050s? What was that on load rate I talked about earlier? How much is it? 750 bushels a minute. Okay, do you need that all the time? If you put a new guy in that tractor seat, do you want him unloading at 750 bushels a minute? No, no, okay. So that f standard equipment flow gate gives you that flexibility to top off a truck, get an operator comfortable with running this size of cart behind him, gives that adaptability and flexibility to top off a truck, give an operator the comfort, or just that ease of maintenance. Maybe it's a nice sunny day and we're just taking our time. You got that flexibility as well. So standard equipment flow gate, <clears throat> you have your auger tilt, and then of course you have your standard equipment tip spout on the top as well. So not only do you have the adjustability of the corner auger pivot, but as well as the adjustability of that tip spout on the top as well. Okay, all standard equipment, so five remotes. Or you have the option of a joystick control. Okay, this gets you down to two remotes. One remote does your auger fold. Your second remote, when put into the constant position, runs four functions off of this remote. Okay, so what we're gonna have Phil help me out is we're gonna have him fold the auger in and out to show you the fold sequence.